Evanston are hearing messages from candidates and a newly formed political action committee attempting to influence election results next Tuesday. Yeah, WGN's Mike Lowe now live at the Evanston Civic Center with that story. Mike? Ray and Micah, good evening to both of you. Early voting is underway here in Evanston, and as voters go to the polls, they see signs for candidates. They're being inundated with all kinds of pamphlets and messages, but they are also getting these mailers on their doorsteps, and some are alleging they are coming from a dark money group. It's a small, a small community. Home to nearly 75,000 residents, Northwestern University, and a reputation for progressive politics and transparent government, almost symbolized by the city's beloved Gross Point Lighthouse. But the city with a lighthouse as a logo is also home to a political group operating in the shadows. It's a shadowy dark money organization that is trying to mislead the voters of Evanston in advance of our April 6th municipal elections. It all began on March 2nd at an NAACP candidate forum a little more than a month before Election Day on April 6th. Toward the end of the Q&A session, candidates were asked a question about an issue that really hasn't been at the forefront of any campaign. What form of government do you support? Currently, Evanston operates under a weak mayor system in which voters elect a city council and a largely ceremonial part-time mayor. The council then hires a city manager, and that person oversees the administration of city departments. A so-called strong mayor system would have voters elect a city council and a CEO-style full-time mayor who then manages the city departments. Well, I favor our current uh, council manager form of government. I'd like to explore the mayor form. I think it's worthy of expert. Uh, I'm open to both. According to the Illinois Constitution, any change would require referendum approval. But after a handful of candidates expressed a willingness to discuss the change, mail from a group called Evanston Together, LLC, started showing up on Evanston doorsteps. The campaign mailers warn residents that some candidates are trying to bait and switch residents and abolish Evanston's form of government. The mailers also use what some critics have called dog whistle phrases. The mailers say, don't let Evanston become like Cicero. So who is behind Evanston together? The group's official filing with the State Board of Elections says its purpose is elections in Cook County, Illinois, and it lists its address as 1555 Sherman Avenue, number 286. We went to that office only to find it was a UPS store and a P.O. box. They figured out a way uh, evidently spend tens of thousands of dollars without disclosing it, even though the intent of the law is to ensure that this kind of uh, this kind of activity is disclosed. One of the candidates under attack from the group is Claire Kelly in the city's first ward. They're putting out misinformation. Walking up and down her block one evening, she was trying to shed some light on the issue, dropping off flyers of her own. Ultimately, what it comes down to is, you know, the people of Evanston really, the, the voters really deserve to know who exactly is funding this campaign to influence their vote. Judy Fisk is Kelly's opponent and is endorsed by Evanston Together. Uh, the group that you referred to has nothing to do with our campaign. We've not been involved in it. I don't know who they are. We've not, um, I, I just don't know really what my opponent is referring to. And Evanston mayor-elect Daniel Biss, a former state legislator and candidate for governor, has advocated for campaign finance reform and says the tactics are surprising in Evanston. This kind of effort cannot be seen to be effective because if it is, then, you know, the floodgates are open and that would be terrible. And it is worth noting that on these flyers coming from Evanston Together LLC, five candidates are endorsed by this group. They are also being endorsed by the outgoing mayor of Evanston, Steve Haggerty. We reached out to him today to see if he has any involvement in all of this, and we did not hear back from him. Reporting live tonight in Evanston, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Thank you, Mike. Schools